Our rivers are burning. Mountains of garbage are blotting out the sun. And poor people are falling from the sky. This is Hellscape. I'm Heather Duke. And if you can see this, welcome to the resistance. Hot take. Lizzie Jackson's rise to power cannot be explained by ordinary circumstances at Westerberg. How else could an orphan with no political allies successfully orchestrate a coup d'etat and remain so curiously impervious to attack? Mm. My thinking? The fat cats gorging themselves on Embarico ham at the World Economic Forum at Davos. These usurers have been lining their pockets with the hard-earned money of ordinary people since World War II. And now they're backing Lizzie as she attempts to erase fashion and good taste from human history. Don't believe me? This fastidious bubble ass did some crack journalism and found that when you rearrange the letters in Lizzie's name, it reveals a hidden message. A Lizzie Jackson. Cabal? Jeez, think so. Coincidence? Me thinks not. <gasps> The global cabal is backing Lizzie's rise to power, and it's only a matter of time until she squashes free speech and we're being dragged out of our homes in the dead of the night and forced to kill our loved ones. But that's not all. Lizzie and her globalist backers have obviously brokered an unholy deal with the working white class community. Ew. Trailer Parker's self-published suicide attempt was a deliberate attempt to undermine the strength of Heather Chandler's suicide awareness brand. She is literally the Lee Harvey Oswald of brand assassination. Yeah. Blind item. Where, oh, where has this little creature called to? Betty Finn hasn't dared to raise her head above sea level since she tried to force feed bigotry to the susceptible hearts and minds of Westerberg. Will she survive the fallout? Hmm. Well, this program condemns violence against women of color in the strongest possible terms. Betty Finn is a bigoted autocrat with knockoff designer glasses. Next up, Westerberg Expo. Whoa, 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 choo, choo, all aboard this train. Ram Sweeney's dead. You heard it here. And rumors are swirling about who could drive this quarterback cockthrob to self harm. The suspects? Uno. Football Americana. Concussions are a problem, and football players are barely making it to the sidelines before they start daydreaming of chugging bleach. Ram ran a West Coast offense and liked to scramble out of the pocket. Who wrote this? So his brain was probably mushier than mashed potatoes. Theory two, Lizzie Jackson is Sherman's marching her way through Westerberg and leaving nothing but heartbreak and carnage in her wake. And though a suicide note from Ram found in Lizzie's locker has been debunked as a harmless prank, <laughs> it remains to be seen whether it was her that tricked Ram into hopping onto the USS suicide. And theory three, Ram found out that the world had changed and that boring white farm boys like him were no longer the apple of the cultural eye and made the prudent choice to remove himself from this reality. Here's hoping that whatever one he finds himself in cares, because, honey, I certainly do not. I'm Heather Duke, this is Hellscape, and remember, everyone's wrong but you. See you next week. Oops. <laughs> Subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube to see more Heathers. Don't comment bad things, my mom is reading them.